let's talk about how to generate sales using solo ads. Many of you have bought solo ads, but maybe didn't know what to do with them or how, how do you use them and how are they going to help you generate sales? It's one thing to collect emails and have this list, but then what do you do with it? So in this video, I'm going to help explain what you can do with those solo ads and how can you go about purchasing them? So these are the two topics that we're going to cover how to purchase solo ads and I'll go and I'll explain what they are if you're not sure and then how to use them to generate sales. Okay. So we'll go into more detail and dig in a little bit deeper. And I also want to share the number one mistake that people make when they purchase the solo ads. We're going to go over that as well. Before we jump in, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have a video every Tuesday, every Friday, you hit that notification bell, you'll be notified and you'll know when they're coming out. So let's go ahead and jump in. The first thing that I want to cover, is how to purchase solo ads. I want to explain what they are and how they'll benefit you. Okay, so this is going to be a really quick lesson in email marketing because that's it's a system that you want to put in place with your business. Now you might say, well, I just have a YouTube channel. I just want to make ad revenue and make money using YouTube. And that's fine, but you may not make a ton of money doing that. Many people that have YouTube channels have other streams of income and email marketing is typically one of them. And again, I don't want to go into too much detail, but for instance, let's say that you have a channel about health and fitness. Okay. You've got a lot of people following you. You're teaching them how they can lose weight. There's so many niches you can go into just in that one area. But how would you use email marketing? Well, email marketing is when you offer people something for free. Okay. So that's what this represents here. This is my, I'm, I'm driving people to some free content. You may have a YouTube channel. You're driving people in there. You're building up an audience where well, you might start offering them something for free. So let's say you put together a cookbook or a healthy eating ebook that you're giving away for free. And you put a link at the bottom of your YouTube channel. What they give you in exchange is their email address. And then you give them that free book. All of this has to be set up with an autoresponder. Now, you may not know what that is. I have a, a video that I want you to look at. It's all about what is email marketing. I'll go into more ex explanation. It'll explain what that autoresponder is and all those things. Okay, so for today's video, we don't need to go that deep, but you have an autoresponder that will collect the emails. You can't collect them on your own personal Gmail account or something like that. It, it'll get too large and then Gmail will shut you down because you're using your personal account for spamming people, okay? So you have to have some kind of a legit autoresponder. There's tons of them out there. I use Active Campaign. There's, like I said, tons of them out there. Um, so once you collect their emails, this is where... People are like, what do I do with them? Well, you have a sequence of emails that goes out to these people. And in those emails, you get to know them. You might offer um, different suggestions on um, different exercises they can do, different foods they might eat. You might, um, you just gave them a cookbook. So you might in your emails explain why you picked some of those recipes that you picked. And you might give them one recipe out of that cookbook that you put together. So do you see where I'm going? And then eventually you might say, hey, I found this really cool, I'm just throwing things out there, but a really cool yoga mat. And maybe it's a yoga mat that you found on Amazon and you will give them the link to purchase it. And you make a little bit of an affiliate marketing kickback, a little commission. So do you see how that's even another stream of income? All of these dis different systems work together. Now, you're saying, well, why are you talking about solo ads? I can collect emails by doing it this way. Yes, you can, but this takes time. And a lot of people get discouraged. Actually, you may start feeling like this. You really will feel really discouraged and you'll say, it's taking me forever to get these email lists. So that is why some people will go purchase emails. A solo ad, there are people out there that have collected huge email lists. They might have 300,000 people on their list. And many of them have targeted email list in certain niches. And so what they have done as a business is now they sell part of their list to other people. Now, they don't just you don't just go to them and say, I want to buy 100 emails and they just hand them to you. I'm going to explain how this works. OK, so we're going to visit Udemy and we're going to find out exactly how you can buy some emails to build your email list and generate some sales. It's just so you can help build a list 
faster within your niche. You still want to set up that other thing I was talking about. You'll learn how to do that in that video that I showed you. Actually, you would set up a, um, a sales funnel and I'll show you, go ahead and watch this video that I have here as well about the sales funnel because it all works together. That's how you give them their free thing. You don't just email it to them and, and collect, you know, wait for that email to come in and hurry up and answer it live. There's an automated system that you set up. Okay. You want to do both. You actually want to do both. Udemy is helping you get your list faster. The other organic way is helping you to continue having an automated system. Udemy is not automated. It's a one-time sale. Okay. So that's the difference. Udemy, you buy them, you got them. And the other one keeps on collecting for you. So you want both in place. All right. So let's go over to Udemy now go into Udemy. This is my account, actually. Um, if you use my link below to, to buy some um, emails through Udemy, you get $5 off on your first purchase, which is kind of nice. But you're going to go up here to the top. It says find sellers. And we're going to stay within that niche of health and fitness, okay? So up here, you can set up a filtering system. What are you looking for exactly? First of all, what price are you looking for? Just like anything else, our, our brain tells us if it's something's cheap, you know, it's going to be cheap. If it's more expensive, it's going to be better. You have to decide yourself what is a good price point, but you can click this and find something. So maybe you want to get a price point in the middle. I will say some people who are new or newer will probably have a lower price point because they're trying to build up their testimonies and their business. So it doesn't mean they're not any better. They may be fantastic. Um, so go ahead and pick your price point. We're going to go ahead and pick, we'll pick something around 65 cents. Here you want to pick your niche. So we talked about health. So let's go there. And ratings. What kind of rating do you want your person to have? Um, again, um, probably someone with a 500 plus rating is going to be more expensive. Uh, the lower the rating is probably, I'm going to assume there's going to be a correlation there. So let's go with the 200 rating and see what pops up. Um, do they have any sales? Again, um, maybe you want to make sure they have sales and maybe because if they have sales, they're going to have some feedback. So you'll get to know. I, I personally want to make sure they have sales. So I'm going to say um, when I get that list from that person, I want to make sure that that list is going to generate some sales. Now, what you're buying before we get into all this so you understand it, you're going to fill this all out and then go to that person and say, I want to buy 100 emails. And if I said at 65 cents a piece, then that would be $65 for a hundred. What this means by sales is that person on an average with that hundred emails will generate about 30% in sales. That's actually pretty high. Um, I have bought them before and I have probably gotten 10 to 20% in sales, but let's go 30. Let's go high and see what it looks like here. It says sales. Um, all right, so we got everything sorted out. So here we go. We have the people that are in health and they have popped up because I've already hit the thing. So let's, um, you can save your search. Let's go down here. All countries, all languages. Now, some people do not want people from all countries. Um, most of the countries that, that buy most of the countries that have the most money are your westernized countries. So it's usually Canada, the United States, and Australia. But you can go in here and play around with all of that if you want. Okay, we're going to go on for the sake of this. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and load it as the default. I'll have to change it later. And here are some people that come up. Now, these people, their sales are cheaper. Now, I probably didn't do very well with, with everything that I put in there. I said 65 cents, but I probably, um, because I put my sales so high, not very many people came up. So actually, these are three people that came up with that search. If you're looking for new people, you want to lower your expectations is, is what I'm saying here. Because you can see up here, the, this is the price that I'm going to pay for 100 emails. 45 cents, 42 cents, 59 cents. That's actually not bad. This guy has a 30% sales average. 
of, of those hundred, about 30% will guarantee you a sale. This one's 30%, he's higher, and this one's 42, that's awesome. And down here, you have how many positive comments have they had? This one has had 3,000, almost 4,000 positive, but 32 negative. So you wanna go into each person and read that and look it up, okay? So you've gotta do a little bit of research, but basically that's what you're doing. I have heard it's been recommended that you should buy your first 2,000 emails on your email list and keep on setting up your automated system to keep collecting because then you have some people to work with. You're going to be offering them things in the emails and generating some sales. So that's basically what Udemy is. That's what Solo Ads is. Now you're going to see other people out there that say, they don't care for that. They like to simply go organic. It's not any different than people saying, yes, I pay for ads, Facebook ads or YouTube ads, or no, I don't. It's it's just what you prefer. I have bought solo ads and this is how I build up the base of my email list. And actually it, it for me, because the, the other, the automated system grew slowly, this made me feel like I was being more productive and I was making sales and I wasn't waiting for that to grow. So for me, that's what I liked about it. And like I said, my first 2000 names on my email list are um, emails that I bought. I want to share with you the number one mistake that people make when purchasing their ads. And this is really crucial. Okay. Many people believe that they buy these email lists and then they think they're going to go into that email sequence that I told you about earlier. And they think that they're just going to start bombarding people with here, buy this, buy that, buy that. And it doesn't work like that. In fact, it's going to make people unsubscribe to your list. What you're doing is you're building a relationship with people in the email sequence. And I'm going to assume that most of you have probably hit that button and gotten that free cookbook or that free checklist or something for free. And you're on somebody's email list. I think anymore, that's pretty common. Um, you are going to unsubscribe if you feel like you're being sold to constantly. And any of us would do that. I mean, why do I want to be on your list if all you want is something for yourself? What are you going to do for me? So you need to think to yourself, what am I going to do for these people on my list? What is it that they need from me? What kind of valuable content can I give them? And again, let's stay with the healthcare industry. You can give them different tips on how they can um, drink more water, um, how to fit exercise in, in a busy life schedule, all kinds of things like that. And then off to the side, you're going to have some things. Maybe you have a workout video course that you're selling. That, that is a great way to warm people up to buy a course. Maybe you could create a mini course, um, just five days of workout videos for $37 and say, here, this is something to help you get started. There's so so many different things that you can offer to people, but you have to offer it slowly as far as the sales go. People want to hear from you and get to know you at least at least seven times before they're going to trust you to make a purchase, okay? So don't bombard people. That is the number one mistake people make. And then they get upset and they go, she wanted me to buy this email list and you know, I'm not selling anything. You, It doesn't happen fast. Now you might say, well, how do I make this email system work. I have a free course. There's a link below, a free email marketing course. There's like 15 videos in there. They all go with active campaign, but you would sign up for active campaign and then the, the course matches it. That's why I say that. But you can still get the course, even if you want to use something different, but some of the things may not match. But that course is absolutely free. No strings attached. I'm not trying to sell you anything, but I want you to get in there and set it up and understand how it works because it's complicated. There's so much information. So that is the number one mistake. Don't sell when you email people. And now you're going to say, well, how do I generate leads? And that's where number two comes in. How do I generate leads? That's where you set up your campaign. And in this case, in an autoresponder, and then you share content or tools or ideas and all kinds of things that are going to help your audience be successful. Okay. And it's a process. It's a system that you put in place. Once you get the system all set up, you can set up your email campaigns. One of two ways you can set up an automated system where you can go in and, and create 40 emails. And when somebody comes in, they just go through those 40 emails. And I suggest doing that when you're brand new because it's a lot to have to do them live every week. I did that for my whole first year. I had it all set up on automation because I was still over here building my YouTube channel and, and trying to do all these other things. And I just set it up 
to keep it so that it was flowing as people came in. But then I went to doing it weekly. And what I do now is I will take one day a month and I will create my four to five emails and they're all set up and ready to go. And then I can work on my other things. So that I start, you know, creating those systems and having a system as far as being organized in place. So, um, if you have any questions, Hopefully this was helpful to you and it'll help you understand how to use those solo ads and to really utilize them and not just go buy them. But I'm going to share a secret with you. If you're planning on just buying a hundred ad uh, emails and you think you're going to make a lot of money, it's not going to happen. You really need a list of at least a thousand to 2000 to start generating sales because sales then becomes a numbers game. You have to reach a lot of people and a small percentage is what you're going to sell to. Not everybody's going to buy. So if you only have a hundred, and we, and it's only 2% of sales out of that, then that's only two people. So, uh, but 2% of 2000 is going to be a lot more. So it becomes a numbers game and you have to decide how serious you are about this. Now, I do have links below. There's a Udemy link for your solo ads, active campaign, and then the free email course. Again, uh, you don't have to use active campaign. You're welcome to that free email course, whether you sign up for active campaign or not. It'll help you. There's a lot of information in there that talks about different campaigns and things. But if you do use a different autoresponder, just know there's going to be um, a different way that they do it in their um, in their tool, in their software tool. So you have a good one, and I will see you on the next video.